Hey everybody, Josh here with Carl's Mower and Saw, and today we're gonna learn how to reload, rewind your Husqvarna, Husqvarna string trimmer bump head. This head right here, this is the T35, I think that's my number, yeah, T35. Very popular head, used on many, many, many gas Husqvarna trimmers. They also make a T25 that's used on a lot of other trimmers, both battery and gas. So if you learn how to do this one, you're gonna learn how to do them all. So today, let's go over real quick how this works. This is one of the simplest heads to reload, feeds really well, it's a, it's a rock star. Love the capacity. So let's take a look. First thing is we gotta get it apart. And you're gonna see right here, and in 180 degrees around right here, little indents. And I'm gonna press in, and I'm gonna press in, and off's gonna come the whole base. And notice this blue knob, bump knob, stays attached to the top. I'm not gonna lose anything. The spring's in there, perfect. So I love that. I'm like a lot of machines, when you, whoop, when you pop that apart, you lose stuff. Okay, simply then, pull it apart. Bam, I'll set this aside. I'm gonna take off the old trimmer line. Sparna usually doesn't send them very full at all, but oh well. That's why it curls more and soft. We reload them before you take them home. So let's learn how to load this spool. And actually this head that I'm reloading is the smaller capacity, this is the 25 foot capacity. So spool here, and uh, I probably should have used a different color trimmer line because black on black, we'll figure it out. Let's see how much I have. One, two, three, and four, which should be just a, just under 25 feet. That said, this head, I normally wanna do three arm links in it. The, the T35, I'll do four arm links. So here's what I do. Let me not get ahead of myself. I take the ends, whoop, put them together, just like that. And I just kinda run down the trimmer line until I get to the middle. And I got this nice little loop right there. Now that loop is gonna hook right on that. We'll call that a hook right there. And there's another one on the other side, so when one wears out, you can use the other side, or if you didn't see it. Also note, when I hook it in there, right, ah, it's hooked. If I went the other way, tried to lie, load it the other way, it would slip out. So they kind of make it idiot proof, I'll say that carefully. Maybe you screwed it up. I have once upon a time screwed it up and I guess that makes me an idiot. But I'm gonna hook this in and then I'm gonna put it between my thumb and middle finger and then my pointer, my index is gonna kinda act like a brake. So I'm just gonna simply roll it like this. Hopefully you can see this well. Just a little rabbit, little hops around the spool, loading the line up just like this. Round and round and round we go. I like to use a round trimmer line. It seems as though if we get into square or edge stuff, shaped stuff, uh, it tends to bind up on itself, maybe not feed as well. I just love the, the characteristics of a rounded trimmer line. And it looks like we got a winner. This is all gonna fit on. So when I get to the end, what I wanna do is lock one side up on the top. So I'll, I'll call this the top, right? I'm gonna lock that one up first, right into that little notch. And I'm gonna come around 180 degrees and I'm gonna lock the bottom one up. Okay, got it? They're locked up. Now, let me grab my base or my cap, whatever you want to call that, and it's just going to sit in here, and I line the trimmer line up with these eyelets or sleeves, and I feed one through, like so. Let me make this a challenge. I'm going to feed that one through, and I line the other side up, and I feed that one through. Now I'm off. We'll fix that in a minute. Okay, easy. Grab my trimmer, sitting here, Again, pretty intuitive. I've got these little tabs sticking down and they need to line up. So I just slide it in, clip, done. I'm gonna grab my clippers. I'm gonna make them equal length here. Just like so. By the way, hand pruners work really well on trimmer lines. So if you don't have a good pair of hand pruners, pick some up. And this is a bump feed head. So when this head is spinning and I tap it on the ground, that centrifugal force is gonna pull the trimmer line. So there you go, a real quick, easy way on how to reload the trimmer head, the line head, the bump head on your Husqvarna trimmer. You got a great trimmer, now you know how to load it the easy way. 
how to get the most out of your machine. Thanks for watching this video brought to you by Carl's Mower and Saw, where we're here to help you learn more and get the most out of your outdoor power equipment. See y'all soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.